welcome back to my channel. It's Janine again and I hope you're having a fantastic day or night wherever you are in the world. If you're new here, welcome. Here we do plenty things. If that interests you, consider in subscribing to my channel and hit that bell button so that you're updated with my latest videos. So guys, you can probably notice that I have a new background in this video. And yes, finally, I got a new Nils Book Cabinet. So it's an IKEA greenhouse Nils Book Cabinet. And it's finally here. And I'm going to do a separate video to give you um, a preview on how I set it up and give you a tour as well on what's inside my cabinet. But yeah, like what I mentioned earlier, it's going to be on a separate video. So for now, I'm going to do another unboxing and yes guys it's another wish list plant for me it's like I've been wanting to have this plant for a long time and it's another anthurium and like what I've mentioned in my previous videos that I am into anthuriums at the moment they look so beautiful and I got another one guys so let's do this all right guys so here is the box of the Anthurium Regal or Regali that we're going to be unboxing today and I can't wait to show it to you so this is my wish list plan for um for a while uh, since I've been into Anthuriums but from what I've read before, it's quite high maintenance. It needs higher humidity. The temperature needs to be controlled. So now that I got the Mills Bow Cabinet and I've done some weather stripping on it as well, so the humidity is higher. I think it is the right time and the right environment for the Anthurium Regal. So hopefully, it will be happy in its new home. So I got this plant from eBay. And the seller is um, called Lilac Valley. And they have quite a beautiful selections of Anthurium Regal in their website. So they have a separate website as well. Uh, they sell it as well in eBay. So yeah, let me just show you how it looks like. And let me just unbox it now. Right, guys, so... As you can see, um, they have packaged the plant properly and properly labeled as well. And to make sure that the plant or the box is going to be handled well. And then, like this, cut all the tape. first before me oh no it's still wrapped guys look at how beautiful their packaging is Aww. isn't it beautiful oh my god i love it they have wrapped it so properly it's beautiful all right guys look at how beautiful their packaging is oh my god i'm so happy it's purple as well it's my favorite color and let me just take out all this um, paper cushions that they put around the plant and look at this it's so pretty so let me take it out and let me put the box there Alright guys, so let me remove this um, cover so that we can see 
the beautiful plant that I've ordered from Lilac Valley. And, oh, it's like I don't want to remove the paper towel that's covering the, the plant. Just so pretty. And oh, there's another one here. So I'm expecting it to be a little bit big, but the size is fine. Man, look at how beautiful this plant is, guys. Can you see it? So perfect. It's like it's so flawless. And I picked this plant because there's already um, a new growth coming out here, unlike uh, compared to the other um, plants um, or the Anthurium regal that was sold in Lilac Valley or in eBay and yes guys I'm so in love with this plant so as you can see there it have prominent um, light green veining so it's not um, similar to crystallinum crystallinum uh, they it have um, the silver veining and this one is like it's fluoresce it's can you see that's like it's glowing um light green veining and it's just so gorgeous i love it so like what i mentioned earlier guys um this anthurium regal requires high humidity and they said from 60 to 63 but the higher maybe 70 um, percent humidity is good for this plant so my mills bow cabinet it can reach up to 93 um, percent humidity maybe higher but at the moment um, that's the highest humidity that I've noticed and the temperature as well is around 19 uh, degrees Celsius and here in the house anyway um our humidity is like higher so i think hopefully this anthurium regal will thrive in our house and i can maintain this um perfect leaf and yes um what i read as well guys is that this anthurium regal is quite a slow grower which is fine with me because it can grow up to 4 to 8 feet tall and 46 inches tall wide. So for the leaves, it can um, grow as big as 46 inches. So yeah, at the moment, I'm just going to cherish this um, baby Anthurium regal. So yeah, I'll give you more um, information about this plant as I grow it, guys and i'm going to acclimatize it first and i'm going to put it on my inside my mills bow cabinet and like what i mentioned earlier i'm going to give you another video on my setup of the mills bow cabinet and yes a tour as well of what plants i have put inside so there you go guys thank you so much for watching my video please like this video and follow me in instagram as well it's janelens underscore channel and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet if you like my content and i'll see you again soon on my next video happy gardening